Hi there, this is Matt Wakeling from the Guitar Speak podcast and you're listening to Australian Guitar News, episode one. This is a spin-off from our regular interview style show and we'll just we'll post this from time to time with uh, great news from around Australia in the world of guitar. We have news on the Melbourne Guitar Show, recording news, the Sydney Guitar Festival, great news from Stormfront Touring and a unique clinic from our friend Peter Northcote. Now, as I record this, the Melbourne Guitar Show is in full swing, August 5th and 6th. And I was really excited to see so many of our Guitar Speak podcast guests down there working at booths and doing clinics and all sorts of great things. Guys like uh, Michael Dolce, he is super busy. He's at the uh, Tasman Guitar Company, a new acoustic guitar company stand. Uh, He's doing Fractal Audio. He's doing Charles Silly Guitars, of course. Who else is there? Jay Perino's on the Boss stand. Brett Garson's there. Brett Kingman, Charles Silly Guitar, as I mentioned. Maiden Guitars. Bob Spencer, I believe, is down there. Uh, Mojo Stompboxes are there. And Drew Roller, who we spoke on the podcast a couple of weeks ago, will be, uh, will be there for the Australian premiere of the Acoustic Uprising film documentary, which is awesome. Hope it goes super well. And we'll talk more about that documentary later in the show. All right, recording news, some good stuff going on here. Simon Kinney-Lewis, who we spoke to a few weeks ago, is tracking his new album right now. Sounds incredible, sounds really cool. If you follow his Facebook, there's some snippets up there. Erwin Thomas is in the States tracking an album with Rick Price. That's got to be super cool. I saw those two guys together, I think in the 90s, playing some shows at the basement in Sydney, and they are fantastic together, so... If they're recording an album now, it's going to be great. They um, they just played a show with Tommy Emmanuel guesting in, in the States, which um, which looked like it was great. Bob Spencer, ex-Skyhooks, ex-Angels, ex-Guitar Speak podcast guest. Uh, Bob's much-awaited solo album is in the mixing stages, I believe. So everything's been tracked for that, and we can't wait to hear that. All right, the Sydney Guitar Festival coming up from August 23rd to the 27th in many fantastic venues around Sydney. So many amazing guests at, at this show. Let me just run through a few. There's Joe Robinson, Adam Miller, Peiko Pena, the Gregorian Brothers, Richie Kotson, Michael Fix, Sarah McLeod, Jeff Lang, James Norbert, Avani. That's that's just a few. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be absolutely brilliant. And there is the Sydney premiere of the Acoustic Uprising documentary. As I mentioned, I'll be involved in that. I'm super, um, really proud to to be part of that. It's such a brilliant film. And um, the premiere, there's been a date change. It will be now on Saturday, the 25th of August. Still at the concourse at Chatswood. Uh, it'll only cost you 12 bucks for the screening to watch the film, which is which is brilliant. Then there'll be a, a Q&A panel, which I'll be involved in. And then there's a performance from Van Larkins, who's a guitarist from up in Brisbane, a fantastic guitar player, really into this whole modern percussive polyphonic style. And he's one of the guitarists featured in the documentary. So to hear him live is gonna be, it's gonna be great. So yeah, Saturday the 26th, Hope to see you there. Come and say hello if you're there. I'd love to love to meet some people in person rather than me just talking to you through the podcast. All right. What else is going on? Stormfront Touring. Stormfront Touring are a great company uh, ran by Michael Katselis. Michael is a killer guitar player, by the way. And they were the guys behind the uh, Gary Moore Remembered concert that was that happened last year. They've brought Richie Cotson out to Australia. So the Richie Cotson dates are August 24th to 26th. There are gigs in Brisbane, Sydney, and Melbourne. One of them is part of the Sydney Guitar Festival as well. And uh, those guys, Stormfront, are putting together an event called Headstock. And it's a real celebration of 1960s guitarists, guys like Jimi Hendrix, The Who, Eric Clapton. And there's a, a fantastic cast of Australian guitarists involved in that. Michael himself will be playing. Uh, Brett Williams from the Choir Boys, Phil Emanuel, Mal Eastick, Dave Leslie, um, and plenty of other guys. We'll probably talk more about that show as we get close to that too. But check out Stormfront Touring on, online and you can get a lot more details there. Now for our last piece of news of Australian guitar news for this episode, I want to talk about Peter Northcote's clinic coming up August the 22nd, titled This Means Business. Now there are lots of great guitar masterclasses around the place and uh, 
we should get to all of them. But what I love about this, this clinic that Peter's running, it's, it looks at the business side of being a guitarist. And really for, for decades, Peter has uh, made a great living and built a great career as a self-employed guitarist. Now, if you wanna learn more about what that means, the nitty gritty, the nuts and bolts of making a living, of putting food on the table, whilst you do the thing you love most, uh, this clinic would be a must, especially for Sydney ciders. So check out Peter Northcott's page. He's on Facebook or his website for more details on that. All right, thanks for joining me for Australian Guitar News. If you've got any Australian Guitar News you would like us to consider uh, putting in this infrequent bonus podcast we're putting together, please send me an email at guitarspeakpodcast at gmail.com and we will check it out. I want to thank Electric Jim May for providing our rendition of Advanced Australia Fair. You can check out his work on YouTube and there'll be links to that page in our show notes. All right, thanks for joining me for Australian Guitar News. We'll catch you next time. Bye now. Thank you.